What's up gamers? It's demo time. Get ready. For a new demo of this city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. That's right, I'm actually finally going to be playing this game um, using, you know, a uh, live feed here. I wanted to just kind of show everybody what this game is like. Um, at its very basic form, this isn't going to be anything major as far as tips or tricks or anything like that. I barely just started playing this game a little over a week, maybe two weeks ago. And uh, so far, I'm actually liking the car, uh, the game, the card, wow. So, this plays similar to the Final Fantasy Brave XVS demo that I did, where basically you could collect you know, a lot of your favorite Final Fantasy characters from old Final Fantasy. Uh, the main difference is there's a different storyline. Um, and then, of course, uh, the graphics are a bit different, too. So, with Brave Exvius, you have a more old-school classic uh, graphics as far as, like, you know, pixels and whatnot. And here, this is a little more 3D-like, as you can tell here. And, of course, I got my man Oren over here, uh, my favorite Final Fantasy character, period. Uh, Oren is just the man. But anyway, this game is pretty cool. So, the way that it works is, obviously, you're playing through a story, and, you know, you're doing the main quest. But, you could do certain side quests to earn certain characters and weapons that are have a specific affinity to that character. And I'll kind of let you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to check out my boy Arn. So if we take a look at what we have here, I have particular items specifically attuned for him. You see how he's going in gold? That basically means that I have an item equipped to him that has an affinity. Uh, this shimmering blade right here. He shows affinity and it has Arn on it. So that basically means that anyone that has an affinity gets certain boosts to their stats. And maybe certain abilities and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. I, I kind of like that. It, it makes the what you need for equipping a little easier than most games. Uh, here, you just want to find the weapon that matches the hero. I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's pretty simple. Not complicated at all. So uh, since we're doing a demo here, what I'm going to do is just some story mode stuff. Um, the game has been around for a very long time, so I don't expect that there's anything that would be spoiled at this point. Like, this game's already, you know, done their first anniversary, so I think it's safe to, you know, do a little bit of questing. <laughs> and we're gonna go to Chapter 2, Ruins of Deserta. Which, by the way, I haven't even started uh, Chapter 2 yet. Now, you're not actually going to hear them say anything. Um, typically, they'll just make their generic sounds as they talk each time, and you're basically reading the text. Shoutouts to Mog, by the way. Uh, Mog is awesome. Uh, he's appeared in many Final Fantasies. Uh, he's played some important roles. Uh, he played a very important role in Final Fantasy XIII too, and he was also in, Thir in Lightning Returns. He also played uh, an important role in Final Fantasy IX. Uh, so, you know, uh, Mog, you know, he has some history. So it's nice that they're, you know, giving Mog a little bit of screen time here. Alright, so here, basically, this will highlight the characters that you'll be able to unlock in the chapter that you're currently in. So we have Zidane here, uh, we have Cecil, we have uh, Ida? Ida? I don't know. I have, that's not a character I'm familiar with. And then Vaughn. So I'm familiar with three out of the four characters. And it give you like kind of a backstory of where they came from, what they're doing here. 
obviously showed off my boy Aaron as the, uh, you know, frontline person. Now the story sometimes will kind of put random people together. Yes. For story purposes. I do like the music in this game though, it's pretty nice. I mean, yes, you're gonna hear certain tones from other games if you go to certain sections, but um, even like their own custom music for the particular game, it's still pretty good. It's got that Final Fantasy feel to it, obviously. Alright, so when you see, you know, the chat thing, obviously it's just story purposes. And then when you see the icon that's right above where it says new, or right below it, uh, that's where you actually be doing some combat. So basically you have three heroes, you have a summon that you can use, um, and then you can also use uh, friends as well. I'm going to be on, uh, put it on auto battle. And then basically what the friend does is you can swap out one of your heroes for a friend's hero for so many rounds. Now the object of this here is to get your bravery gauge up. The more your bravery goes up, the more damage you can, physical HP damage you can do to them. And then, of course, lowering their bravery will sometimes break them to where you get more turns. Obviously, some victory fanfare. Well, why not? Obviously, every time your characters participate, they gain levels and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and do the next one, see if uh, if it happens to be anything special. And I always let, you know, let my uh, unfollowers, you know, add them in just so they get credit. Now, do I have my dream team? No, not necessarily. Uh, my dream team would be Aaron, and I'm not really sure what the other two would be. Uh, I haven't really quite figured that out. I've debated Lightning, because I am a huge fan of Lightning's character in general. Um, but, you know. I know Aaron for sure. Everybody else is debatable. The plot thickens. One of my favorite uh, soundtracks of all of Final Fantasy, this particular track right here, You're Not Alone.
Now, some of you might be thinking, man, wouldn't it be better if they could just, you could hear them talk? It would be nice, I'll say, but not necessary. I mean, this is a mobile game that's supposed to kind of cater to the fanfare being able just to collect, you know, all your favorite heroes. I mean, being that this is a free-to-play game, I mean, it would cost them a lot of money to allow, like, all the actual voice acting. Yeah, I, I really like how they add certain music. And now we've acquired a new ally, Zidane. So there you go. So that so this is basically the basics of what a story would be is basically you're doing some story stuff, you're doing some combat, you're leveling up, you know, and then of course getting new characters. Now there are some side modes that you can do, uh, like for example the Lost Chapters. In the Lost Chapters, this is actually where you can uh, find some of your favorite heroes. So by the way, this is how I got uh, Arn. Uh, I went through the Legendary Guardian uh, chapter, which I have not finished yet, because it's actually very difficult where I'm at. As a matter of fact, we're gonna actually show you guys watching me lose here. Because, uh, yeah, I'm in an area where I'm pretty much outmatched. I think this is where I was stuck, I'm not too sure. I'm going to take the auto battle off, though, so that you can actually see me actually try. Actually, I don't think this is the one that I'm having problems with. I think it's actually this one. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, we're going to turn auto, auto battle off so you can physically see what I'm trying to do um, in these fights. And actually, I might switch characters. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take her out. And stick in the Warrior of Light, if I can find him. I don't know where he went. Hold on. There he is. There's a reason I'm putting him in. And I should probably use... A high level person with good gear? So if I wanted to, I could turn the auto on for them to, you know, do their own thing, but here I'm actually just going to do it manually. So you're going to do bravery attack to, you know, uh, slow them down and get their brave up. And once, usually for me, I do it when it's up over a thousand. Then I switch to HP attack. I don't do any special abilities until I also have, you know, a high enough brave. Like here, I'll go ahead and do Banishing Blade since, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty high already. Sure, why not? Oh, he's getting his butt kicked right now. I'm about to give him a little bit of defense. And there's the first round of people done. Now, typically, you don't want to really use your special abilities this early. But again, I'm just doing a demo here. I also like how they have the uh, Final Fantasy X battle theme here. Pretty cool, right? So for now, we're just going to do a bunch of bravery attacks here. Now, if you notice, there's something shining at the bottom of my screen. I'll show you why that's there in a minute. 
Alright, so you can do some like combo attacks here. Once you've broken them enough. It's actually pretty cool. But keep that little flashy thing on the bottom right in your in the back of your mind. It's gonna be used here shortly. Not looking good for the home team here. We are really hitting on them hard. Overkill, I like that. Oh, it's boss time now. Oh, enter the boss music. Alright, so to start things off, summon time. So, of course, you get whatever abilities that they would normally give you for summoning them, and then um, you just continue the, the good fight. <laughs> Some of that defense. Now I'm gonna build up their bravery as much as I can before they end up dying. Look at that, one hit KO. Ain't that some crap? Oh, you know what? Let's do something. Let's switch her in. I've never used her before, so I have no idea what these abilities do. Mono restore party's HP. Okay. Oh, interesting. I should have started off with her instead of the Warrior Light. We might have been doing better. Hmm, too bad I can't use a Banishing Blade anymore. Oh well, lots of damage coming. So what does this do? Two turns large. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm actually learning myself. <laughs> oh, wow. That was special. <laughs> that is very special. What's the lose? Ooh, that hurt just a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh, get that damage in there, girl. Get that damage in there. I'm gonna try to get Bravely up just a little bit more on him. Oh, that's right, she's done now, unfortunately. Which really sucks, man. She was really doing some good stuff. This guy's gonna die here in a minute, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I figured he was dead. And now it's a one on one battle. And since I'm broken, I basically can't really do any damage, so I have to use Brave Attack. Mm. 
Let him give him some healing, which is pretty cool. Ugh, why are you hurting me so bad? And boom, we are dead. And of course, if I wanted to spend resources, I could like revive everybody and go again. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this. And yes, I'm sure I'm gonna stop that. So yeah, that's kind of an example of some of the things that you can do in battle. Um, the, you know, the importance of making sure you're level enough, you have the right party members, things of that nature. So hopefully that's a good start to learning the game a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I would highly recommend doing the Lost Chapters, because this is really the best way to collect some of your favorite, you know, characters in the game. Like I said, Arm was the first person I went for. Uh, I'm going to go for a lot of the Final Fantasy 9, 10, 13, maybe some 4 characters, uh, and kind of go from there. And then, of course, as you're playing the game naturally, you'll get a lot of these characters, so... That's pretty much it for the most part. You know, you're just collecting heroes, collecting, you know, weapons and armors based um, off of those heroes, and just completing the story. And then, of course, there's a couple of cooperative things you can do. Um, like I said, there's tons of modes, but I just kind of wanted to give you just a brief preview. This isn't supposed to be a super long video, it's just a demo. But again, this game has a lot of potential. I like it a lot. I'm going to be playing this for a while. I don't know how long. I'm not sure how hard I'm going to get into this game. Uh, I did kind of uh, stop playing um, Brave Exvius, not for any special reason, it was, it was just a thing where you know, I was focusing on new projects, uh, but I'm going to try to keep playing this game, and this game is really, really cool, so, you know, like I said, I, I, I dig it, and if you're a Final Fantasy fan, I'm sure you'll dig it too, but until next time, we're out of here, you guys take care and keep gaming.